Welcome back to our channel, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us. Today, we are in Magic Kingdom, and we are gonna have a fun Magic Kingdom day. So come along with us and have a Florida fabulous day. Yeah, so today we're back. We're going to do some rides. We're yep. gonna probably grab like a couple snacks, but we figured we could just take you along for the day to see what it's like when we just come to hang out in the park. We don't have, you know, there's no new food items we're trying. There's no events that we're doing. We just wanna check wait times. There is a Halloween party this evening, yeah. so Magic Kingdom will be closing at six o'clock. Um, while I don't necessarily recommend coming to the Magic Kingdom if you're on vacation and cutting your day short at six o'clock, if you are local or if you're doing two Magic Kingdom days yeah. you might want to consider checking out Magic Kingdom during a Halloween party because a lot of people will skip it and go to another park which means you can sometimes catch good wait times it doesn't feel as crowded because people don't want to be here and have to leave at six o'clock yeah so we are going to test that theory and we're <laughs> going to see what the wait times are and how the lines for like snacks are but yeah so far it's not feeling too crowded so I don't know what we're doing first but um, I guess we'll figure that we're out, gonna figure that out. <laughs> but before we do make sure you guys stick around to the end of the video oh, yes. for Desiree's magical tip because as we're going through our day today, we're gonna find something that we feel like you need to know that is gonna benefit you, whether it's on vacation or you're just coming here to visit. Yeah, and that's something we're incorporating into every video now. Um, I will go throughout the day and I will kind of assess what we did and take what I feel is the most important piece of information to pass along to hopefully help you guys plan your trips better. Our first stop was actually Sleepy Hollow. So this has been like on our things to do since they changed yes. the menu and everybody <laughs> freaked out. Um, but they used to have like the waffle sandwiches that you like folded. Yeah, it was and, a more like, of a flat round waffle. Yeah, but now they serve pretty much the same types of toppings, but just on like a big Mickey waffle. Um, so you've had the chicken one before, yeah, right? Yeah, the chicken one. The uh, old one. The old, the old waffle. So Steve today got the one that is the Mickey waffle with like the Nutella, the bananas, the berries, the whipped cream. Now you can get ones that are like just berries and whipped cream, just banana and chocolate. You can still get the chicken. Yep, it's or a you, maple honey, like a maple chicken. It used to be like a sweet and spicy yeah, chicken. Yeah, so it's kind of the same, but now it has the maple flavor. Added. Yeah, or you can get the one that has like all of the fruit and the yes. Nutella, so why not? Um, but but yeah, I actually never had them previously, so I don't have anything to compare. Right. And you got the chicken, so I don't know how much we're going to be able to compare. And that was a while ago, too, so I don't really you know remember. You know what? It's I feel still like busy over here, so clearly... Yeah, people still like it. <laughs> it's fine. So we're going to give it a try and uh, let you know what we think. Yeah. It's pretty good. Oh. Um, See anything wrong with that? Yeah, I mean, the wa I want to taste like just the waffle. Yeah, the waffle seems fresh. Like, I know it's covered in berries and like chocolate sauce and all that, but I still got a little bit of a crunch and on some part of that waffle, which means that it's fresh. The waffle's like not super flavor flavorful on its right. own, but you're also not eating it on its own. Exactly, that makes sense. It, like with all the toppings and stuff, I feel like it's good. I mean, this I is- I like it. Yeah, I mean, I- I mean, it's not like the old one where you could literally fold it like a taco and eat I it, would especially rather, with the chicken. I'm going to be honest. I'd rather not because like that's knife, it's right? the same reason I don't like to get a hot dog or a taco sometimes because not a I don't like, like to eater. hold stuff and eat it. It gets super messy. It's annoying. Um, I'd rather use a fork. So this situation actually works better for me. Yeah. All right, well, let's uh, let's finish this up, and then we're going to start our day and probably yeah. find something to find a ride to go on. After this, we're going to check out some wait times, and yeah. then I'm going to like show you guys what the wait times are currently. That way you can see what's going on with you know this Halloween party happening right. tonight. I have a feeling we're going to be able to get on some rides today. I'm excited. Let's go. All right, so let's look at some wait times. It looks like Barnstormer, Dumbo, a lot of stuff. Five minutes there. Wow. Yeah, a lot of meet and greets in 10 minutes. All the trains, 10 minutes. A lot of things are in the 15, 20 minute range. Now we're getting into like the good rides here. Haunted Mansion's only 35. Peter Pan at 35. Seven Doors at 35. Tron has the highest wait time right now of 50 minutes, which isn't that bad. So we actually have, yeah. we, our goal is always to try stuff like, try to get on things under 30 minutes. There's a lot of options. There are. Under 30 minutes right now. So we have to decide like, where do we want to go? Do we want to do a little bit of fantasy land? Because we're close, land, think, you know, yeah, we're, we're, right, we're here. right here by Sleepy Hollow, so I think that maybe we should head into Fantasyland. 
All right, we're gonna go wait in line for Seven Dwarves Mine Train. It is only a 30 minute wait. That is crazy because this is usually like 60 minutes just to get on this. So excited, we love this ride. I hope you guys enjoy it too. Making our way through the queue line and there's some gems over here that the kids love to play with. Looks like they light up if you touch the right ones. Yeah, there you go. Look at that. That's cool. Let's head into the vault. And hopefully this is the end of the queue line. Oh, it's dark in here. Whoa, look at the ceiling. That's so cool. So they're like spinning the barrels. And then on the ceiling, it's like a kaleidoscope. That's really neat. Whoa, here we go! Whoa! Ooh, I'm so excited. Whoa! such a blast on Mine Train. And yeah. that was like the first time we went through the actual queue line. I know, we've always <laughs> like fast passed it. Yeah. We've never actually stood in the queue. It was always crazy it was long. It cute, I and liked it. And the 30 minutes went by really quick. It was I don't, very fast. I don't know if it was quite 30. 25, I timed yeah. it. <laughs> so Pooh only has a 20 minute wait and it's literally right here. So yeah. I think we might just like hop on Pooh real quick for something else to do. I mean, we're- And this is another one with a really awesome queue line. Really great queue line for the kids, yeah. The start of the book, chapter one. So we're entering Rabbit's Garden. This is like a little play area for the kids. They encourage the kids to like run around in this rubber uh, floor that kind of looks like mulch. It's not actually mulch. And play on all the fun stuff while they're waiting in line. Little drums, yeah, good job. That's good, May. Just a lot of cool stuff to play with. This one. Oh, you're popping the balls. Yay, here we go, family. I love this ride. Hold on, Rue. Whoa, what is going on? Uh oh, whoa. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Hey, Tigger! We're bouncing. We're just great. Follow me. Right to school.
Well, it was my goal today to get one of my favorite treats in Magic Kingdom. I have been getting the Cheshire Cat Tail since the beginning of time, like our first Disney trip with Luna, yeah. probably. It's been a while since I've had it. I do remember it being longer, but now it looks like it's about the same size as that Tigger yeah, Tail that you can get smaller. in and Animal Kingdom. I did also mention that to the cast member. I said, it looks a little bit smaller, and she's like, yeah, it does, doesn't it? <laughs> well, you can pretty much get the same exact thing in Animal Kingdom. You can get the Tigger Tail over yeah. next to Flame Tree Barbecue at Isle of Java. Isle of Java, that's right. Um, but this is pretty much just like a flaky pastry with some chocolate chips inside. And then they do the pink and purple icing for the Cheshire Cat colors. If you're in Animal Kingdom, you're going to get the orange icing for the tiger looking stripes. But I love this. I feel like it's a it's a decent treat. It's so good. And it's always here. It's yeah. I They're love kind the, of, I love the flavors in it. Like the buttery um, chocolate chip. It's like kind of like custard. chocolate croissant or like a chocolate chip like brioche. It has that custardy taste to it. Like also, vibe, like mixed yeah. with the chocolate chips. It's really good. I'll get you good. a bite. Even though I haven't tried it, I know exactly I what it tastes like. Ah. No, it is. It's a really mm. good, delicious little pastry. It's warm. And a lot of people oh. don't realize, right over near the Cheshire Cafe here, in between that and the bathrooms, there is some seating. We always kind of sit yeah. here. Not a lot of people sit it's in these shaded. areas. Um, so it is a nice little spot with bathrooms right next door to just take a break. And that way, like, you know, you have a place to sit and eat yeah. your snack. You can use the bathrooms and then move on. So I don't know what we're doing next. Um, think... We're going to figure out another ride. Um, I suggested that since we're here getting the Cheshire Cattail, that it would just be fitting to go in the teacups, which is right here as well. Okay. I know we all don't love the teacups, but sometimes you just have to do things you don't want to do. Yeah, I don't love the spinning, but I guess I'll go on it. We don't it. have to spin. We can, we can hold it steady. These kids are going to spin. We'll all see. right, we can do it. It goes along with the theme right now. All right, <laughs> there we go. I talked her into it. Hey family. Here we go. And we're gonna try not to spin it and see what happens. Right now we're going pretty slow and even the look on Desi's face uh, looks like... Look at Luna's so face. Oh, she's having a blast. This is so fun. Ooh. It's and actually then, not bad if you don't spin. Yeah, I mean, you're still like going around and like moving and circling around. It's gonna spin us on its own. But it's, it's a fun ride. All right, Maggie, go ahead. Give it a little, give it a little spin. Go, 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 go. Whoa. I have to like focus on one thing so that I don't get dizzy. That, that makes perfect sense. I'm just staring at the camera. I'm staring at you. Oh, all right, I love that. <laughs> We're making our way around through Fantasyland and this is a crazy sight to see. There is like not one person walking around back here. Well, there's a few. I don't want to lie to you, but usually this whole walkway is jam packed with people. We didn't like really have much of a plan for today, but it looks like it's turning into a Fantasyland day. I love Fantasyland. Well, just the wait times are really great right now all over the park, but I feel like on normal days we can catch great wait times in all the other lands and Fantasyland tends to be the most crowded, yep. highest wait times. So I think we're just going to take advantage of that today to get on some of our favorite rides in Fantasyland yep. and just continue to get food in Fantasyland and just that will be our whole day, just spending time in Fantasyland with the low wait times and low crowds. Um, it just, it never really looks like this. It's no. interesting to see that because there's a Halloween party tonight, the rumor mill is true. People probably tend Don't to go to come. the other parks yeah. that are open all night. So, you know, it's something to consider if you, like we used to always plan two Magic Kingdom days. Yeah. Cause it's hard to get everything done in one day. Um, and we've actually, done that where we've been in Magic Kingdom during a party and we would leave and go over to like Ohana or something. We'd plan a dining over on the monorail loop. 
So that's not a bad idea. Catch some low wait times, get out of the park, go have a yep. nice dinner at one and of the monorail resorts. Head back to the resort and go to the pool. Yeah, we're lucking out. Well, right now we're walking past the uh, Ariel's Grotto meet and greet and we're yeah. going to the Little Mermaid ride. And of course the wait time is like non-existent. So we're going to hop on the Little Mermaid. Yeah, let's do it. And part of this area that we're in right now with Ariel, the, the grotto and the ride, right behind me is Prince Eric's Market. Now this is not a huge like food spot. It is a little quick serve. They serve like three or four things, but it is worth mentioning because they have the ever famous turkey leg, which most people love. I really do enjoy them. Um, I just don't really get them that often because it's annoying to have to walk around with this turkey leg and get on rides and all that. It's a mess, but I digress. They also have a pretzel here. Now, if you've been to Disney World, if you have not been to Disney World, you'll see Mickey Mouse pretzels all over the place. They're okay, they're good. This is coming from a pretzel connoisseur like myself, but this pretzel that they have here really compares to the, the Germany pretzel as far as size goes. I don't know if it tastes the same because that Germany pretzel is like probably your top pick, but if you're in Magic Kingdom and you want a really good pretzel, it comes with a cheese sauce. They also have mustard packets here and you can get like some really cool slushies and drinks as well. So I would definitely check out Prince Eric's Market for your pretzel fix. All right, Ariel, here we come. We are ready. Let's go down this right. Walking through Castle, you know, nothing special. Well, Eric has the best castle of all. Oh. I think, in my opinion, I just love like the look of like his castle, seaside. I just felt like it looked so different compared to all the other castles, with the exception of Jasmine's, of course. Right. But if I had to choose one of the castles to live in, I think Prince Eric's castle would be it for me. All right, I like that. And he rescued his dog in like the burning ship. Ship, yeah, you know? How could you not dreams, fall in love with him? <laughs> So we've been going through these two lines today, and I do also want to mention that this mermaid, Ariel's Little Mermaid queue line is amazing. They have a waterfall. Who has a waterfall in their queue line? The floor has seashells. Yeah, the floor has like seashells in it. We even got like part of a ship in the queue line. They have these fun little interactive things. This is a little crabby, and he kind of likes to steal little jewels and stuff. That's a pretty one. So we made it inside the queue line to the indoor area with Scuttle, and it looks to me like Scuttle has gotten a new animatronics because I've never seen him move this fluidly in a very long time. And he's back to like narrating the show that the little crabs are putting on on the screen there. Uh, this is the fun part. It's like an underwater party. I love it. There's that sea witch. She's a nasty, nasty we are making our last food stop today. Um, Ariel's The Little Mermaid Ride is always a blast. Um, I love that part where we get stuck every single time. Yeah. Where Ariel's there and then there's flounder around the corner. We like, always get stuck under the sea or at Ursula. It's yeah. like the two stops that we always, always, always get stuck. But we uh, decided to keep it with the Fantasyland theme <laughs> once again and come to one of the most reveled places in Magic Kingdom, Gaston's Tavern. Yeah. Um, they are mostly well known for the Lefou's Brew and the Gaston Cinnamon Roll. 
Yeah, we love that cinnamon roll. We didn't get that today. We also love the new creme brulee croissant yes, that they brought over here. Do. I really hope that that doesn't leave the menu and that's something that will stick around because that's climbed the list to one of our favorite snacks yes. of all time. We've tried both of them both recently of, yeah. in the video. So they used to have like a ham and cheese like sandwich type thing yeah. that my mom always said was so good. Um, and we would always get the cinnamon roll and she would always get that. But now they have a ham and gruyere tart um, and it's supposed to be delicious. It looks Magnolia is freaking out because there's a fly. Oh, I just, so it's landing on her leg and she's having a holy she, heart attack. She is the absolute most afraid of bugs. All right, mate, it's fine. It's weird, but, yeah, well, let's give this little tart a try. It's kind of like a croissant. Oh, um, that's so good. There's like chives on top. Mm. Maggie said, can we go home? Because there's a fly. <laughs> In really a little good. bit. I thought it was going to have like be a little bit harder, like tougher. Yeah, I was worried it's about... flaky and like crunchy and soft, like almost like a croissant pastry. I was really worried about the texture, but it all tastes really great together. It's a lot easier to eat than I expected it to be. Yeah, and the cheese is really creamy. No. And we also got the LeFou's brew today. I think did. it's a little hot. We just needed something to cool down. I'm always down cool for down. a little slushy. Um, I like slushies. I get them quite often. Like, I've never used to, but since we've moved here, I've been like the slushy king. Now, LeFou's brew gets mixed reviews because it's kind of like a frozen apple juice, but it has like a toasted coconut and like passion yeah. fruit flavor in there. I well, love it. It's really good. The yeah. toasted coconut flavor that's in there, I think, is great with the apple juice. And then the foam on top is that passion fruit foam. It gives you a little bit of a tart tartness to the drink. Yeah, I absolutely love it. I mean, we oh, yeah. we used to get this for Luna almost every time we came on vacation. My kids, when they were little, Maggie's still in that phase, <laughs> loves apple juice. Our kids were big apple juice drinkers. They, they weren't like, they didn't really do sodas or yeah. anything like that. And, and, you know, apple juice was their jam. So she, <laughs> the kids have always loved this slushy and they're looking at me right now to get a sip of it. Yep. So I guess we'll finish this up and then um, I think we're gonna like end shortly. Maybe yeah. we'll just check a couple more ride wait think, times yeah. before we head out. Maybe we should but do one more like final ride and then we can head out. It's such a good day and like unexpectedly like a great fantasy land day. It's still like this area like is usually so crowded and That's it's just what we've been it feels this whole so video. quiet and like <laughs> relaxing. So I mean I'm I'm actually a big fan of coming to the Magic Kingdom when there's a party that night. Well we are going to veer off of our Fantasyland theme today. Yeah well we kind of just wanted to hit like some of our favorite rides. Yeah. Um as Steve's grabbing the stroller because yeah, I she's I come driving here us into the bathrooms I don't, I don't at know Pinocchio where village house. I come here often, but for some reason I don't know where I'm going right now. No idea. I got lost. Um, but anyway, we wanted to just do like some some of our favorites. So I saw that Haunted Mansion only had a 25 minute wait. Pirates only has a 10. Yeah. So I think that we'll go to the right here and hit Haunted Mansion. Yeah, we're gonna wrap up with like two of our favorite no! rides. And then if we don't go on Pirates, Maggie will probably be super sad, as will I. And that's <laughs> always the best way to end the day. So come along with us for two more of our favorite rides before we head out. Oh, what a beautiful sight this is. 20 haunting minutes for the Haunted Mansion. I cannot wait. I'm dying to get on this ride. As we're waiting in line here for the Haunted Mansion, we have a little treat. The Liberty Bell is coming around Tom Sawyer Island down the rivers of America. Now keep in mind that this attraction is going to be leaving us soon. Like I said, this attraction is going to be leaving us soon. So for all of you people that love the Liberty Boat and Tom Sawyer Island, we made a video specifically for that. It takes you on the boat ride all around, seeing all the sights and sounds of Rivers of America. And then we go and explore Tom Sawyer Island. So make sure you check that out. I'll link it in the description below for you. Oh, here's our favorite guy, Mr. Hatbox Ghost. Hi, buddy. Oh, looks like somebody's trying to get out of there. Uh-oh. Oh, our favorite Madame Leota. 
We love this part. Oh, the grim grinning ghosts have come out to socialize. Well, one last ride for the day. We gotta get on some Pirates of the Have Caribbean. Have to do it, because the day isn't complete in Magic Kingdom until we've been on Pirates. That's right. And then we can uh, wrap up with our magical tip of the day yeah, so before stick we leave. This concludes our magical day at Magic Kingdom. I had a blast yeah. uh, hanging out in Fantasyland for most of the day. And I mean, going out for Haunted Mansion and Pirates just really like topped off the day. Yeah, good rides, good treats. Um, my magic tip of the day oh. would be that if you do not care that the park is going to close at 6 p.m., if you're not attending that Halloween party, I would say to come early and do the park anyway okay. and get on rides because yeah. it was low crowds we got a, like there was so many more we could have done too a lot of things were like five and ten yeah. minutes we chose to go on some of the ones that were like 20 to 30 because you know they were ones that we don't do as right. often because even, the wait times are higher even peter pan which is normally 80 minutes 120 minutes was only 40, 40 minutes. minutes so like you could really do some of those really great rides and not have to wait so right. long and we got some great food yeah. and it just it felt chill and and relax because there wasn't as big of a crowd so I recommend coming and doing the rides and then maybe like I said making a dining reservation over at one of the monorail yeah. resorts or just go back to your resort and have some pool time in the evening and like relax and enjoy the resort because sometimes we forget to do that when we are in the parks yeah so that's my magic tip of the day I hope you guys liked this video we had so much fun today I did so if you if you did like this video please give it a thumbs up let us know in the comments we try to reply to every single person that comments we love you guys and without you guys we aren't Florida fabulous. Yeah. So thank you so much for watching, and as always, stay, stay fabulous. fabulous.